Good morning, my friends. We are in Madrid. Uh, I'm meeting my good friend and colleague Alfonso Romero Mora, and we're doing an opera. It's uh, El Caballero Avarro by by Rachmaninoff. Uh, it's one of those cities where things happen that you don't expect so often. I'm looking for number 26, where the coffee shop is where we're having our breakfast with Alfonso. All right, what are we doing here? The problem with video on stage mainly consists in the transfer of the imagery, the content, to whatever you have as a plane of, or surface for your audience to watch. It's either the projection that is difficult, or in this case, it's 12 screens hanging from the ceiling on top of the stage. And the problem is not those 12 screens. It is kind of a brain breaker to think about those 12 screens in space and, and, and create content. The problem is how to bring this, the signals for each image to HD. So you need to develop a technique that allows 12 images to happen at the same time at distinct moments, not the same images, but yeah, you know, I mean, 12 different images at the same time on a system that doesn't cost anything. And there lies the rub, because you have to find a way how to install 12 separate servers on this budget that is, let's just say it's a low budget, so we're using raspberries. Yeah, well, um remote controls that's something i hate but at the same time it's the only way to get this thing started so basically what i do is every morning i i connect to my service and if anybody knows about a way of doing this if the receiving folders are named the same because obviously we are we are not renaming the users on the raspberry pis because that would be a pain to deal with. Because every time you log in to one of these, you have to log in with a different name then, and that's not worth it. Uh, then I'm opening my, my server on the other side, which is this laptop, which is running, um, well, after efforts and everything. And here we are. So now I can actually now, me. Let me just zoom out a little so you can see what's happening. We're starting our setup script and they're all turning on, which is fine. It should be like that, like this. 12 screens with their distinct images on a stage, on a budget. <laughs> We're pretty proud that this worked out. There is a distinct problem with 12 screens and 12 times the content that you try to produce and show. It's just normally you have one image that you show, maybe spread over 12 areas. So 12 times the effort to produce that content in HD, of course, because uh, we can. And then every problem you have is being multiplied by 12 times. And 12 times the network problems you will accidentally run into while you're running this on your network because every network is different but uh, network problems are the same. So why are we doing this on Raspberry Pis? It's not so much the number of exits that you use. It would be something like uh, three graphic cards or something. It's more the lines in between because in theaters the distance is pretty far. You need to cover around let's say 100 meters between where you are then around the audience to the stage and and the problem is that you can't actually just run your cable somewhere in a theater you have to run around corners and stuff so SDI lines from your computer to your respective screen over 100 meters might cost you a few hundred euros times 12 makes the whole thing really expensive also, you have to, well, send a signal that is strong enough, so you need good adapters to send that signal. And you need graphics cards that are able to output 12 images 
to have 12 distinct images on your screens because that's what you want or at least that's what the director asked for and that's why I'm doing it. So we are doing the opposite. We're not sending the image. We are putting the image onto computers that are directly connected to the screens. You might say that is a little more expensive. Well, it might be in a way because we're using Raspberry Pis. Uh, in this case, we're using the Raspberry Pi 4 that might actually loop back to a very high budget right now because they can't deliver and prices through scalping are really high. So there we are. 12 Raspberry Pis connected to a network on a cheap hub and basically that's it. If you dive into the meta you will find a few repositories on GitHub that solve the problem by installing a script on your Raspberry Pi that listens to a port and then activates OMX player or some other player on the Raspberry Pi to follow the commands that you can send. So this is the script I'm going to link below. It works with OMX player, but there is a big problem with OMX player. Raspbian just dropped the support for OMX player, so you now have to use VLC. VLC didn't work for me because, well, well, it didn't work. So I, I used OMX Player and installed OMX Player on a Raspbian stretch version on the Raspberry Pi 4s uh, and we used in this installation. I will try to link a tutorial be um, below to do that and to also set all Raspbians that you have, if you're using severals, to fixed IPs. Okay. So what does the script do? Uh, it's actually a pretty simple script that will install or use uh, OSC, a Node and Node OMX player. Those are extensions that you have here to install when, when you install the script. And then it starts to listen to OSC over UDP, which means it will listen uh, to that port and uh, you're sending those commands. Play, loop, pause, pause again for running again and then stop to stop the player and then there is another command where you can send commands to your raspberry like reboot or something but i wouldn't actually put them into the installation uh, if you press one button and all your raspberries reboot automatically that uh, is kind of a problem well and how do you send those osc commands we used qlab and in qlab we created a mathematical nightmare which means to start those films you send this command play and in addition the location and name of the film file you want to play to your respective raspberry those raspberries you can set up in your setup of course using the osc tab and then defining your raspberries with their fixed ips and the port you are sending to now we are sending those commands with some waiting time because I like it when screens flicker and then after a certain time in this case 15 seconds we send pause and then we wait for the fade out well let me explain despite the fact that OMX player is actually able to run different instances or layers and despite the fact that it is actually possible to use transparency it just didn't work so we pre-programmed and pre-rendered every single fade in the piece. Not only the fade outs, but also the fades between different movies. And we solved this by creating content that could be stopped or paused just before this fade. So you run a certain time, you pause just before the fade out happens, and then you press play again, and it fades out just like this on the upside this script can also be run by anything else that sends osc to your script because as you saw we're just waiting for commands to be sent over udp to this port so all the raspberries are sitting there and just waiting for those commands to come in and you can send them with a phone or anything that's capable of OSC into a network. 
But here's what I would call the biggest flaw about this concept. It's when you change things and you arrange your 12 screens, there is waiting times, and those waiting times add up to a horrible amount of time that you waste watching things change because you're not jumping. You, you can't jump within those movies. They run. Also, every time you have a typo, it doesn't work. So you have to correct your typos and be very careful about what code you're sending. Otherwise, it's not working. Also, you have to get some time where you are really, really concentrated at copying files and naming everything. So you better get some private space where everybody is having a break and is away from wherever you work. Let's just admit that it's really, really confusing and discouraging that going to a general rehearsal and everything went fine for two days without any problems in a setup like this with 12 Raspberry Pis and 12 screens that came from uh, the usual shops where you buy screens at. So it's not a high-tech setup because we're on a budget here. But at the same time, it's really nice to see that it worked out well during these last rehearsals. It, it, it just went a little too well and I'm not really sure if the problems we encountered before are, are solved or if they are still just there and we didn't see them but it ran well and let's uh, just um, knock on wood. Okay.